guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some meal prep with you guys. We've been getting a lot of questions from our friends and family on what our process is. And we've had to share it with you. Today is also hair day, so that's why I have these clips in. For the next video, we're going to do like the cute form. <laughs> so what we're going to start off with today is the crab salad roll um, with potatoes and carrot fries. So as far as the ingredients go, we're going to start off with a little bit of vegan A's, you know, because we don't really do much dairy in our household. I can't. I'm lactose. Uh, paprika, all right. Pink Himalayan salt, so that's pretty good. We don't normally have um, the, the standard salt, um, table salt. We like to have the pink salt. It tastes good. And then we have the onion powder. We show we love onions. We love garlic. Onion powders. And then we have the um, lemon. So we're going to chop it up, put a little bit in there, some celery, and also we're going to have a nice little bit of um, with crabs. So these are were frozen, and what we did is just thaw them out, and we're going to make that. And then dill. We got some fresh dill um, from Trader Joe's, which is where we love to go. Um, so yeah. And then we're also going to have, um, with this meal, potato fries and carrot fries just to get our vegetables in. So these are our carrots here, and we have some potatoes. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, let's do it. Alright guys, so to start off, we just took our carrots and chopped the front and end off of each carrot. Um, our carrots were already peeled and rinsed. Um, after you peel and rinse them, you're going to want to cut them into quarters or thirds. And then from that shape, just go ahead and make a little fry shapes. Um, and we used about a bag of carrots and I fed three people over three meals. So then we took some, a good old golden potato and we sliced that bad boy up. Um, for me, we were real careful because we want to cut ourselves. But just keep in mind that whenever you do cut them up, they get a little wet from the insides. So from there, we just slice them up like fries. Yeah, and you want to use um, some olive oil and sea salt and a little bit of garlic and herb to season them. Then we took a celery and we put it in our little um, grinder. Mm -hmm. And um, to get started with your mixture, just take your crab. Um, we used two packets from Trader Joe's, which made four. And again, this is for three people over three days. You want it to look like tuna coming out of a can. So then add your celery as much as you like and get that nice and mixed up. Um, we added paprika, onion powder, and Himalayan pink salt for our seasoning, and we got that nice and blended. Then we took our veganaise, and we just pour some of those, pour some of it inside. So we had about six tablespoons of it. Um, you could have mayonnaise if you like, if you don't, if you're not into veganaise. Or Miracle Whip. Or Miracle Whip, <laughs> and stir it up. So you want it to almost look like tuna salad or a chicken salad. Um, I added some dill. Um, just enough to give it some texture, some flavor, and a little bit of color. It's definitely not necessary. Um, it does give it a little bit of a grassy flavor once you add it in there. Still tastes good, though. Mm -hmm. From there, then, we had a lemon. All we did is cut it in half. We took that half and just squeezed that bad boy on top and stirred it up. Get a little zest in it. Yep, so that's pretty much it. I added some more seasoning because it tasted a little bland. I added some garlic and herb seasoning from... All these very similar to Mrs. Dash. Um, we got this recipe from Trader Joe's Meals on Instagram, and we will post a picture at the end. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks I hope guys. you guys enjoy it. All right, please subscribe.